Welcome back to Benelong. Thank you. Uh, Great to be here. Our longest serving and greatest member for Benelong. <laughs> I don't know about that, but the majority you got at the last election is pretty impressive. Look, I am really happy to be back here. Obviously, this is an election that I developed a great affection for. I represented it for 33 years. And I'm here to support John Alexander. He has been a fantastic local member. Whatever your politics are, he has seen his first duty to serve the people of Benelong. And he's been very upfront in the, uh, in the confusion of the citizenship issue. Uh, he said, right, I accept that I may be affected by it. I'll be upfront. I won't be dragged king and screaming to a by-election. I'll put myself on the line and I admire that. It's of a piece with a, a bloke who played his heart out for Australia on the tennis court and he's worked his heart out for the people of Benelong uh, since he was elected to Parliament in 2010. We don't take this by-election lying down, it's quite hard. The Labor Party is throwing massive resources. They've got a candidate who uh, uh, they may think is uh, very popular, but there's a lot of people who remember she was the last of a long line of failed Labor Premiers of New South Wales and she was installed into that job by people like Eddie O'Beef and Joe Capote and uh, I think a lot of people remember the failures of that Labor government. Uh, this election uh, is very much about choosing the person who will bring stability uh, and confidence to the people of this election and John has demonstrated since he came as the member in 2010 He's built the confidence and the affection of the local people, and that's what really matters.